Okay, so we've been three weeks since the last video. In that three weeks, what do you feel are the milestones that you've been through? I put my trainers on today for the first time, so that was very exciting. I've managed to get into my leggings and get them off again, which sounds like small things, but actually they are big improvements. Um, I've managed to turn on my side in the bed, although they told me I would be able to do that much earlier, I haven't been able to and I found it really uncomfortable, so that's moved on. Um, and I generally sort of do feel that I'm walking now, I am more of a normal person. I've been driving my car, I don't know whether I mentioned that before, but I've also been driving my car now as well, which has made a difference because I definitely feel more mobile, being to the supermarket, being able to do some normal things if you like, so good stuff. Okay, when are you seeing the physio again? Uh, in, a, in a week. Okay, um, and he did also say that you could start doing cardio. What type of cardio did he say? He said I could swim, but definitely not breaststroke, and I can use a static bike. Now you have actually swum. When I swam on Tuesday, you swam as well. How did you find that? Uh, swimming was fine. I have to say I didn't do a lot of leg kicking, so it was mainly about my arms, but it was fine, in, and getting in and out of the pool, which I was a bit nervous about, was fine as well. Okay, um, and... Where would you like to be when we next do another video? Probably in about three weeks' time. Um, I guess the next thing will be to be able to, to not be thinking about my hips so much. So when you make movements and you suddenly go, ah, which I still do, and it hurts, I'd like to not be doing that anymore. And I don't know if that's realistic or not, but there are still movements that make me catch my breath when I do them. Now... Your sister actually just happened to have the operation, um, what was it, five weeks after you, four weeks after three, you? Three weeks. She's three, three weeks. weeks behind me. Yeah, so, so she's now three weeks on and you're comparing notes day yeah. by day. Um, ha, ha, what's the difference, difference between you and her in terms of, as you see it, the recovery and the operation? So my sister is in the USA, I should say, first of all, and their regime seems to be very, very different for ours. So first of all, she was allowed to go home on the same day as the operation, whereas I was in for three nights. There don't seem to be any restrictions on her using her, she had a walker rather than crutches, so she was allowed to get rid of that as soon as she wanted, rather than waiting until they felt that your walk was stable enough, which is what they do here. And they don't start physio for three weeks after the operation, whereas I started physio straight away. So it's a sort of different thing. Um, she also had the, the um, incision at the front, whereas I had mine at the side, and that makes a difference to the sort of exercises you can do as well. So it's very different. They do say that if you have the incision on the front, it heals much quicker, but you end up at the same place at 12 weeks. But we'll see. Now, we did this, um, or you had this done, uh, fortunately through private insurance yes. uh, in the UK. Um, obviously in America they don't have such a thing, it's, it's all Medicare or whatever, you, whatever the system is there, you have to have insurance as well. The cost difference is huge though. How much did your operation cost in total? So my operation for the hospital with three nights in was £12,000. Her operation for um, leaving the hospital straight away was $64,000. Um, and her premiums that she pays are huge. She pays $800 a month for her, for her health insurance and she still has to pay 20% of the bill for the hospital. So it's huge. Her surgeon was $2,300 versus £800 for here. I'm not in the centre of London, but it's still a huge, huge difference. So since the last video, we've had two physio sessions as well. And they've been progressing quite rapidly, haven't they? He's been getting you to do lots of different things. How do you feel the physios changed over these last three weeks? So in the beginning, the physio was about just getting me, move, me moving and using my hip. Now it's all about building up strength in my hip. So the exercises are about strengthening the muscles rather than just using them, because I know I can use them now, but they're not as strong as they should be. And in fact, I'm surprised at how 
weak they actually were when I came to do some of these exercises. Okay, so you're going to do every single exercise that he's been showing you yeah. so that people can progress through them if they want and if they haven't been if they haven't got a physio in fact you're fortunate in that you have got both a physio in the water and out the water yeah. um, so what's important about those exercises what how do you want to purvey them to the people in, in YouTube land I mean I think the difference the moving on from where I was is now I'm using bands I'm using weights it, it is more about that strength element not just doing an exercise and doing reps so I tend to do three reps of 10 and you know, making sure you go through them and, and get the strength by repeating. Okay, so what's the first exercise you're gonna show so the people? The first exercise is squats. So it started as knee bends when I started out and now it's moved into squats. I use a band for this, a pink one, which you put around your thighs so that you can them at an even okay, distance. so you helped your knee up on the left leg there, but you bent it much more past 90 degrees yeah, than you I ever had. And I felt it. <laughs> okay, right, I just thought I'd mention it. So, but but, but the actual say, bend past 90 degrees is something also that's happened since the six weeks, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so, well, you're not allowed to do that before six weeks. And that's okay. what I mean about you suddenly find yourself not thinking about it and doing it, but actually it does still hurt. Okay. And the lifting my leg with my hand is a bad habit that I've got into from before the operation, and I've noticed that I still do it sometimes, okay. so I'm trying to get myself not to do it. Okay, so let's get into the exercise. Okay, if you've got a mirror, it's a really good exercise to do this in front of a mirror so that you can check that you're keeping your, your legs straight and your body straight as you sit. You want a chair, which is just at normal sitting height, and you want a kettle, um, six kilograms if you've got one. And what you want to do is bend so your bum just touches the chair and then straighten. And the idea is to make sure that you're not leaning to one side or the other, you are doing it straight and hitting equally between the two. You, so you've just got a little off, kink at the end, but nothing drastic. Yeah, so when say. I start off, I was definitely leaning towards the right. Okay. And now it's do it again. straighter than it used to be. Okay, you can see just a little kink at the end of it, but nothing drastic. And you do 10 of those, ten of those do, three times? Yes. Okay, so the next exercise is what? So the next exercise is straightening your legs with weights. So this is a, a leg machine and it's got weights on the back. If you don't have one of these, you can do it by just taking one of the bands and attaching it to a leg of a chair and lifting your leg up and down so it's still got some resistance to it. Okay, so it doesn't have to be an expensive exercise? It does not have to be an expensive okay. exercise. As I've got the machine, I've decided to use it. Just about straightening your legs. Now you're on the lowest I am. of the weights. I'm not. That's not a judgment. Uh, that's a question. When you started, how difficult was that? It was really difficult. Um, actually, that's not true. It's not as difficult as some of the others. But doing it with one leg, which I've also been trying to do, I'm still finding really, really difficult. So with two legs, it's okay, but with one leg, which was, it's, it's really tough. You really couldn't do that? No. Is that but that? then I can't, I can only just do it with my good leg. Okay. So it's, it is really tough, which is... Try it again I, with a bad leg? And it really doesn't move? Doesn't move. Okay, that's interesting, but with two legs? But with two legs, I can do it. And I do feel that even with two legs, I try and make sure you know, by moving my other one away yeah. a bit, but I am... You're not favouring one yeah, or the other. I'm okay. Okay, so now the next exercise is obviously with a band. What are you going to do with that? So I'm going to walk sideways. So at the last session, um, the physio said that my leg wasn't moving far enough, as far it, as it should do to the side. So this was the exercises he suggested for that. Now, in the gym, he had me walk all the way up and then all the way back. But because I haven't got much space here, I do it... I go side to side. So you're trying as big a step as you yeah, possibly can. With the, what, the band is resistance. And this is the strongest band out of the ones that I've got. Which is now this exercise is slightly different as well, isn't it? Yes. Um, this is something he gave you on the first physio session um, after the hydro session that we showed last time. So, so what is this? So this really is the, the next one on from my original exercise, which was lifting my leg up and backwards and to the side, just standing up. So... This is to make sure that I get the, the muscle stronger and get more movement. So similar to the other one, is using the bands to get resistant, but going backwards and forwards 
as opposed to the side. And this is to help with the walking, to make sure that you're striding properly when you're walking. So what's this next exercise? So this is the one leg bridge. So lifting your body up and then lowering it and trying okay. to control it. Uh, this was really, really difficult at first. I could only really get off the floor a tiny bit. So this has come a long way since I started. Still hurts? It's still difficult. I still don't find it easy to do, but it's a lot easier than it was. All right, the next exercise. This is about stepping up onto the block on your bad leg. One of the things I haven't been able to do, or I couldn't do before the operation, was actually walking up the stairs properly. I had to do them one at a time. Uh, I can just about do it now. I still have to just hold the wall a little bit. And this is about giving you strength to be able to get up the stairs properly. So you need a kettle, and then you have to step up. You can put your foot down if you're struggling at the top to balance, but the idea is to put that weight onto your leg as you step onto it. And this one feels like somebody's squeezing really tight in the hip. It's one of the, probably the strangest feeling. It's a really tight feel and it does feel not unpleasant, but not comfortable to do. Okay, so that now we're on the total gym, we should explain what the total gym is. It's, it's a, a moving platen, which we can do various things with. Um, you're using it because? So in the gym, they used a leg press to do this, but we don't have one, which is just a press thing with weights on it. And this is the nearest thing we've got to it. Okay. The pa pa platen, obviously, or the, or the bench moves up and down, and you can obviously do squats-ish type yes. things on. Um, the bench is at an angle, and the greater the angle, the more the resistance that you have. So, effectively, we've got it on number four. Is is that a pleasant one? Do you, do you look forward to going to five and six? Um, I started at three, and now I've gone to four. I think... I might be able to go to five soon, but it, I do still find it, it is still quite challenging. Okay, so how many exercises did you do on this? Just one. Okay, let's see that exercise. Okay. The idea is to do the presses with just one leg. Okay. Presumably in control all the way, it's so that you're not going slam down, yes. slam up. Yes. Okay. How do you feel your legs bending there? Um, actually, looking at it now, it looks like it's bending in a little bit, but uh -huh. as opposed to maybe straight. So the knee's collapsing you... just a touch? Yes, just a touch. Yeah, there you go. That's that's probably better, better than yeah. it was, yeah. Just, so, yeah, it, it's, it, there's a wobble, but that's strength. Yeah. You're, that's exactly what you're building. Yes. You're trying to build the strength in that leg. Okay, so you, you just suggested that we show a comparison of leg to leg. Yes. So why don't you do that? So what I, when I think something's really hard to test to me if it is, I do it with my good leg. And the good leg's got a little wobble as you apply pressure in. It didn't then. But it's much okay, easier. Okay, so if you go back to both legs again, now go bad leg. Well, that's pretty much straight now. Yeah. But I find as I get to the bottom of the bend, I don't feel I go as far and it feels much tighter and then at the top. So, but I always test it against my good to see if it really is as difficult as I think it is. Okay, so anything else you want to cover in this particular video? Uh, no, I think that's it. Excellent, so we're going to wish everyone well. And if they're in America, we're going to wish them very deep pockets as well. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so keep well everyone out there. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me.